This is my Supreme Piccolo Cell Zeno deck. One copy of the leader. Four Piccolo fused with Kami. Four Piccolo Simulated Ability. Four Piccolo fusing with Kami. Four Kami's Power Piccolo. Four Piccolo fusing further. Four Oceana Shinron. Four Cell the Awakened Super Combo. Four Assimilate. Four Frieza's uh, Army Reinforcement. Four Sacrifice. Four Golden Frieza Newfound Might. Four King Vegeta Unison, four Vegeta Resolute of Agent Destruction Unison, and one Cell Zeno. Obviously, the idea to play Cell Zeno is to have four, uh, I mean, not four, three, uh, four drops, so that'll be a total of 12. So, I'm trying to get out a lot of these level four, um, I mean, four costs, um, Piccolo's out there. One to trigger their effects, of course, because some of them have bonds. You know, like this one has, you know, obviously Bond 2. And this Piccolo has Bond 2. And then, you know, finish your point off with Cell Zeno. That's one of your wing cons. Not the only one, but one of them. But we have Assimilate in the deck for the purpose of getting us our one drop Piccolo fusing further. I use the same meth, uh, you know, engine in my, uh, in the other. Like, I'm going to be using this engine a little bit more in the near future. Uh, because I always like the idea of finding a way to, like, cheaply bring out Piccolo Simulator because that boy good. Um, good board control, good hand control card, right? Because you pop your opponent's battle card, that's five costs or less, and it's an active battle ability. So you can wait until they attack combo, and if they forget that this is on the board, pop their battle card, draw a card, and you just avoid it. Now attack and you just drastically reduce their hand size in the process. But typically most people pay attention so you won't get that uh, noob moment that often. But for the moments that it does happen, it's beautiful. Um, it's active battle so you can obviously use it in either player's turn. So you know, it comes to handy just the idea that you could just attack and then use this to just KO one of your opponent's battle cards um, during your turn just so you can have board control. And he has barriers, 20k, you know, all the good stats. <coughs> so the the fact that you could potentially bring him out for 3 energy just by playing this for 1 energy and then tapping 2 to activate his effect to Union of Absorb and then go straight into your Piccolo same ability. Uh, granted, you'll need another battle card in order to uh, trigger his effect, but that's where the Cell Awaken comes into play because when you combo with this, it plays itself from the drop area into your battle area. So that way it's, uh, that way it's, uh, you know, very energy efficient way of getting Piccolo out, the some of that out there and getting his effect triggered off. And then start, you know, getting, getting his, um, his uh, active battle. Right? You could swing with the cell, for example, and then trigger this card's active battle to pop one of your opponent's battle cards to draw a card. And then just go from there. Maybe your opponent tries to attack the cell. Again, back to battle, pop their battle card and draw a card. So, it's a nice little bit of synergy there with those two cards. Um, as well as combining that with, uh, you know, King Piccolo. This can, with his plus one ability, you can choose one of those cards in their hand or a battle card ignoring better and send it to the drop. So, you can, you know, so there's some hand control and board control there. You know, obviously you having a bigger hand size than your opponent is always card advantage. So reducing their hand size, increasing your own is always what you want to do. Uh, this Piccolo has critical. Uh, this Piccolo also, I uh, no, this has double strike, which was the one. This one has double strike crit. So you have two Piccolos that have critical. So those are the ones you definitely want to deal um, damage with the most because the initial opponent doesn't get no hand advantage. So we're definitely trying to focus on crit and some hand control, some board control, and just have a lot of control of the game. Right. And so we're doing that. Obviously, Oceanus uh, for defense. We've got Frieza's army for defense. So it's essentially a free negate. Uh, it can potentially stop to attacks. Same goes for sacrifice. You take a life and play this for free. So that way, even when you're tapped out, you can still defend. We got Golden Freezes. Um, you found Might has Empowered 4. 
Dual attack blocker 20k. Counter attack play this card with three markers on it. And then um, auto if this card has four or more markers on it. Uh, when this card is played, choose all your points, better cards, and KO them. So when I originally first saw this, I, I thought it was like negate attack and then play. But it's just, it's, it's just you play. You want to obviously trigger with some power. So if you have Vegeta in play, King Vegeta, right, with some markers on it, then you trigger this and you can, you know, play it um, and get it some powered and, and get get them and get the markers from it. And then since you have four more markers, you board wipe your opponent on those um, board on their turn. Which is something you always want to be able to do a board wipe on your opponent's turn. And then that way, and then of course you the blocker just in case your opponent swings with their leader units and you block, which is you know, very beneficial. But then of course you have the fact that it's a 20k um, dual attack on your turn, and it has the minus four ability where it gains 10k power and triple strike. And then you can switch this to active mode at the end of your turn. So that way it'd be a 30k triple strike that can attack three times. I mean two times. So essentially six damage all by itself if you set it up right. So. Um, King Vegeta, like I said, helps you uh, with some hand control and some board control. And then we got another board wipe through the effect of Vegeta's Resolute. It's auto when you play this card, choose a card from your hand, discard it, and then ignore and barrier, choose all your points, better cards, and KO it. That's a plus one, I believe, gaining 5k power for the end of the turn. And it's, you know, double strike crit. So it'll be 25 uh, double strike crit. As you can see, we're really focusing on the crit. And then, of course, sell Zeno for ripping cards out of our opponent's hands, you know, three, up, to, up to three cards. And then going in for 40k uh, quadruple strike uh, dual attack, right? Once we have five or more energy, which is, which is you know, turn five, is typically when you want to be able to play this out. And that's pretty much it. You know, some of these have, you know, Barrier, this is Barrier with Double Strike, this has to be a KO battle card, regardless of cost. This can um, let you uh, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of four or less, ignoring Barrier and KO, so it comes in handy when you gotta get rid of something with Barrier. This does five or less, but doesn't it, does not ignore Barrier. And then this has the um, auto when this card is played, choose up to two of your opponent's battle cards in rest or ignoring Barrier and KO them, so it's somewhat of a board wipe. And of course, like I said, it's double strike crit. So that comes to handy. And that's the end of the video.